Hello everyone and welcome to another episode here on NRV Outdoors. Today we are here at the Crooked Creek Wildlife Management Area to do a little bit of trout fishing. And in today's video, I wanted to break out one of our new products, that being that Boss Manor in that KO pink color. This thing got its name as, as I was designing it. I sent a picture of it over to a friend and he responded with simply knockout. So we decided to call this the knockout pink. As you can see, it's got a couple bite marks in there already. We've already had a couple bites on it. So let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and hop right into this foot and let's have some fun. There we go, fish on. Fish on a KO pink boss minner. Wow, good size rainbow too. Let's walk him right on over here, slide him into the old hellbender net. There we go. Fish number one for the day right there. Mm, quick pop loose. There we go. Fish number one for the day. Let it take off back in there, guys. Good quick start at our first stop. We will take it. Go ahead and set that boss minter back up there. Let's go ahead and shoot him across the run again. That's one fish down already. There we go. Fish number two already. Oh, fighting hard too. There we go, guys. Oh, quick release right there. That's okay. That's fish number two. Take that old boss minner. Well, it looks like just two and done for this run. But that old boss minner caught him out of there quick and in a hurry. So we're going to go ahead and keep it moving and just see what else we can find. All right, everyone. Switched up runs. Came up here to this little shallow cut. It's got some big boulders in it. We fished it before in previous videos and had some success. And I always like to stop when I'm doing some jigging like we are today and fish these holes because they can absolutely hide a couple big ones, guys. But I don't wanna waste any time. I wanna go ahead and slide over here. Try to stay out of the way, be wary of our shadow. We're here about midday. Unfortunately, could not make the morning session. So we're gonna to have to make best with the time that we've got. Slide on in here. Let's see if we can't pick ourselves a couple out. Wow, nothing in the main cut. Quite interesting. Typically there's a couple hiding out in here. That doesn't appear to be the case today. So we're gonna to have to slide on around this old big rock here, keep our eyes on the water. Making sure we don't accidentally bypass one here. They can hide just about anywhere in these rocks. Tons of small creek fish coming out and looking. Oh, that may have been a trout right there in that crack. Let's shoot that cast over there again and just find out. Yep, got him. He came out from that crack right there and crushed that old boss minner. Not a very big one, but a beautiful one nonetheless. He came out and absolutely crushed that thing for us. Hiding in just the smallest little crack. Out here when the sun gets up high, these fish like to find some shelter. This fish is no exception. He got in between that crack over there. Wow, let's let him go. Right there, happy and healthy. Heck yeah, guys, it's fish number three for the day. All on that boss minner. Still looking good, so we're gonna go ahead and bomb it back in there, try to get ourselves another one. Just that one hanging out there. We're gonna keep it moving right on down. Now right over here where the shadow line is, is what I would be if I was a trout. But I'm gonna start kind of short, way out here in front. Bounce it right on along the edge, try to call one out of there. Yep, sure did. Called one right on out of there. Oh wow, beautiful fish too. Fantastic colors. Looks to be a little bit beat up. Potentially bitten by a bird. Wow, fish number four. Probably the biggest of the day. Got that new boss minner right where you want to see it. Absolutely all these boss minners will catch trout, but this color here I'm very happy and pleased with, guys. I was actually asked by a good friend 
the fall would be interested in making this color. Experimented around with it for a couple days, found a color that I just absolutely fell in love with, and well, the rest is history. Wow, another beautiful one. Got a sore right on the back right there, but that's okay. Let's let him go. Take off, little buddy. There we go. That's four fish all on that KO pink. We will take it. Now, I get asked a lot how many fish you can catch on one of these. And well, as you can see right there, we went through four. That lure's still on there, so we can still catch a fish on it. So we're going to go ahead and bomb it in here. If the video and the audio of this video isn't quite what you're used to seeing here on NRV Outdoors, that's because our good camera, our main camera, is currently being repaired at the GoPro shop. We had to mail that thing in. And well, they've been quite slow about it. Two weeks now, we've yet to get it back. So hopefully we can make do with this older GoPro 5, but the audio will be a little iffy. And uh, the video is not going to be the greatest, guys. So go ahead and stick around. Try to enjoy this video for what it's worth. And I really do appreciate you tuning in and enjoying this day of fishing with me. Oh, just got hammered right down there. Uh-oh. We might have just found something right there. I'm gonna try to cross over this little log right here. Being wary of any snakes or spiders as they do like to hang out on these down trunks. Don't wanna get in any of them. Slide our way right on down here. We did get absolutely whacked right there. everyone I worked my way right on down here to the end of this run and as you can see there's a huge stone over here in front of us with a bit of shade now I cast it over there I got a couple bites but I managed to get hung up and broke off so I went on ahead rigged up a new one of those boss minters but what I want to do is I want to sneak down this bank over here get on top of that big stone and try to fish around these shadows here I'd like to look down and see if I can do a little bit of sight fishing on these fish jig it right past them but we did get a couple strikes now it could just be some creek chubs or some big pan fish, but I don't want to risk it. I want to go on ahead and head over there, walk up the road, slide right on down on that rock and just see what happens. So let's go on ahead and head over there now. All right, everyone, work our way down here to this big old rock, just like I mentioned there earlier. Don't see anything immediately from up here, but that does not mean anything. As we have learned before, these trout love to hide about this time of day. Wow, tons of bait fish in here though. Absolutely tons of it. No wonder they are all about that boss minnow, as it looks just like a lot of this bait that I'm seeing. Just small little minnows, creek chubs. Oh, there's a trout. Got him. Got that one. He came out of there and crushed it for us. Wow. Hard fighting rainbow right there. Heck yeah, guys. Seen that one come out and absolutely crush it for us. I mean, they beautiful little guy too. Not much size to him, but absolutely beautiful nonetheless. Give him a quick pop loose. There we go. Wow, beautiful little fish right there. Let's let him go right over here. Let's give him a bit of a fall off of this old high rock. And there he goes. All right. Got another one of those sneaky little rocks right here where the fish tend to hide underneath it, just like that. Wow, nice fish too. Very first cast in here. Oh, quick release right there. That's okay. That is okay. Wow, I mean, that fish came out of there and cracked that thing immediately. Unfortunately, didn't hold on to it. Still got the barb on there. Probably a weak hook set on my behalf, but hey guys, we will take it. Quick bite right there, right out of that little hidey hole. Got him. Oh no. Oh good, he let it go. Guys, that was a hellbender. Uh, absolute wild looking salamander. That bit, <laughs> that ball cementer, it's laying right here in the creek, guys. I wish I had an underwater camera. It's one of the rarest salamanders on the East Coast. And well, 
it absolutely crushed that ball spinner. Luckily, it was able to spit it and pop loose. I'd hate to have to handle them. They're very slimy. They're also very protected. You don't really want to harm them in any way. I thought that was an old brown trout slipping up the creek. Casted that ball spinner in front of it. It opened up and ate it. But that's not our target species in any way, shape, or form. It's actually right here, guys, heading back up the creek. Not sure if you can see that. I'll put my rod tip right to where it is so y'all can hopefully focus in right there. I'll go on ahead and zoom in for you a little bit. And there it is right there. That thing came over and bit that ball spinner. Luckily, we were able to get that thing to shake it pretty quickly. Or it shook it itself, to be honest with you. I swung on it as if it was a trout. Seeing it open up, went on ahead and let it have it. But luckily, it popped off right there. Very interesting encounter. Once in a lifetime. They typically do not bite lures like that, but they will. Wow. That's just awesome, guys. Awesome thing to have happen. Very happy that it got free. It wasn't harmed in any way. But we will take it, guys. Just another thing that bites the NRB baits. It's hard to believe that there's such diversity and adversity in the water that will take it. There we go. Including big old rainbow trout. Oh, wow. Oh, another quick release right there. Gosh, it must be time to change out our hook. Must have got a bad one there because that's two fish to kick that thing and a hailbender. But wow, guys, we will take it nonetheless. Well, everyone, I think that's going to do it for today's video. We covered a lot of water with that KO ball spinner, and we had a ton of fun fishing it. Managed to get five fish in the net on that thing. Seven or eight hooked. A couple of them did pop off, including a couple really nice ones as well as one of those very rare and elusive hellbenders. One of the biggest salamanders in all of North America. But we had a ton of fun out here fishing today, guys. Water was crystal clear, sun was up high, and the fish were munching. If you would like to get your hands on some of these boss minners, I'll leave that linked first link in the description. It'll take you straight to my website. Simply scroll down until you see those boss minners. You can click on that KO pink option there. You can get these in scented or unscented. And let me just tell you, they are an absolute trout catcher if you enjoyed this video make sure you smash that like button and as always drop me a comment down below every comment really does help out the channel it allows the youtube algorithm to know you guys are enjoying the videos allowing for new anglers to find us and enjoy the videos as well but get out there if you can and do yourself some fishing and have some fun but most importantly be safe and tight lines